Hello, everyone. 2022 Fall Semester JC's Podcast Club. Yeah. Wow. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we have another topic, which is a really exciting topic. Korean culture part two. Bum, bum. Yay. You know what? Why we are providing this topic again? Because first part hit yep. the uh, view more than 11 100, which is 1,181 views as of today, by the way. So this is the, uh, the highest number of views we have received or found out this result. Whoa, good job, wow, everyone. Congratulations. Right. David and Emma, what do you think? What do you think why a lot of people, they click the button, listen or view uh, to listen about Korean culture, your personal opinions? I think the reason why many people watch our video is because I think not only Korean people are watching our videos, so many American people or people from other countries might be interested in Korean culture. So I think they clicked our videos. Mm, sounds great. Yeah. Thank you. about Emma? Because we are handsome and gorgeous. <laughs> Yeah, I was just it's kidding. A, it's a, actually um, invisible the radio right now, but how could yeah, they watch it? Like the thumbnail, like with the okay. picture. Sounds good. Okay. You know, the uh, first part, we discuss about um, four questions. First question number one, what is my most favorite Korean food? Question number two, what is my most favorite Korean holiday? Question number three, what do I do during Chuseok? And last question, what is my favorite thing on Chuseok? So I remember the majority of you guys uh, talk about Chuseok, right? Chuseok food, yeah. and Chuseok holiday, and history, something like that. Even one of the persons, I think I re remember David, he talked about Children's Day, right? Yes. Bang Jong-an, 선생님. Today, we'd like to talk about another Korean holiday. We are going to have two major holidays in October. It is called... Gaecheonjeol National Foundation Day. When is the Gaecheonjeol Day? Isn't it October 3rd? 3rd? Yes, yeah, yeah, 3rd. October 3rd it is. And another important uh, holiday in Korea is a Korean Language Day, which is it is called Hangul Nal. Do you know what day is it? 10, 10. Oh, what? 10, 10. <laughs> October 9? October, October 9, okay, eight? October oh, 9. Ah! Oh. <laughs> maybe we should add it this part, but maybe oh I'm going to keep it this one. <laughs> uh. All right. 한글날 10월 9일, 개천절 10월 3일. 개천절 한글날 is a, will be the holiday. So October, there are some few, two actually uh, holidays which we don't need to go to school or work. Wow. Mm. It's a fascinating time and a lot of our family trip they're going to have. So 개천절 10월 3일, which is Monday. 한글날 10월 9일, which is Sunday, but next day is a temporary holiday, right? So we like to discuss about Korean culture part two, which is what? 개천절 한글날. How do you understand National Foundation Day? And another question is, why is Korean Language Day important to Korean people? And maybe last question, if you can, what is your most favorite Korean food? So this is another interesting fascinating question that we would like to know from each one of you guys. So, I'd like to invite Emma and David to discuss about Gaecheonjeol National Foundation Day. National Foundation Day, Gaecheonjeol, is when the sky had opened. Ge is for your Ge and Cheon is for Hanel Cheon. The story of this day is there was a god called Hwanin and he knew that his son Hwan Wung wanted to live with people on earth. Hwan Wung first opened the sky and went down to Taebaek Mountain. He met a bear and a tiger there. Bear and tiger wanted to be human, and Hwan Wung gave them mugwort and 20 garlic and told them to stay in darkness with eating the food that he gave them for 100 days. The tiger could not stay longer and escaped from the cave. However, bear stayed and became a human called Wung Yeo. Wung Yeo had another wish, and that was to have a baby. Hanung married with Wung Yeo and had a baby called Tangun. Mm hmm. The combination of Emma and David. Okay. As David told us, National Found Day is a day that celebrates the start of Korean history. The story from David is when Korean's creation myth 
how Dangun founded the first Korean kingdom, which is BCE 2333-2333, is celebrated and remembered. The Dangun's myth also shows the importance of the first country of Korea, such as a bear and tiger appearing to the show, the, which is described about two groups of the people were gathered together. Of course, I don't believe about the myth of National Farm Day, but I hope that will be remembered as a day to celebrate and commemorate the founding of Kogurya, which, which was established as a myth of Tangwon, which has become a deep tradition and history in our life today. All right, Emma. Did you say Tangun? Tangun? What is it? <laughs> Tangun. Tangun. Yeah. Tangun, Harabaji. Okay, so mythology, by the way. So he's not actually the real person. It's a kind of story mm, telling. Yeah. But uh, a lot of people, probably Korean people, uh, love, listen, or respect the country as a sort of the um, some kingship or some more authority. People are looking for that. So, k e c h a n j e l quite meaningful day. So, my question is this one. Uh, so what is a special meaning for you? Mm. What do you think? As a student, as a Korean person, and as a, let's say, the person who loves the country and who loves Korean language and even this you know, country as one of the citizens, what do you think? Why you know, these two holidays are very important for you? What does it mean to you? Maybe, David, I'd like to talk, ask you. I think National Foundation Day I am a student, and in National Foundation Day, I don't have to come to school. And I think I can have uh, three days of rest in a row. And I can go to a family trip, and I think that's really good. And I think National Foundation Day is very meaningful to me because it talks about the Korean traditional myth, and I like to listen to lots of myths and stories, so... I think this day and this story is very meaningful to me. All right, thank you. What about Emma? Um, like, as David said, I like that we don't go to school, but then also I'm really thankful to this holiday because this is the day where Korean history begins. And for the Hangul n a i as a student who learned English, uh, gradually I realized that having our own language, which is mother tongue, which is the That country's, that language, are really thankful to Sejong Dewan, who is drawing m a n o n Jari, and also thankful to m a n o n to give. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, have you watched any movies uh, related with uh, Sejong Dewan? I watched a movie called Chan Moon, and this is a story about Chang y o n g s i making his clock and lots of inventions with Sejong Dewan, and also. Se Jung Dae Wang and Chang Young Ji was some kind of friend, so I think it's a story about mm. Chang Young Ji's invention and Se Jung Dae Wang. Right. I think I watched this movie too, Chun yeah, Moon. Yeah, me too. Did you watch it too? Oh, yeah, we okay. watched it together. Yeah. Okay, how, about, how about this question? What is my, your most favorite Korean food? So, this is part of Korean cultures. So, Ke Chun Jol Day, Han Gul Lal Day, there's no any specific or typical type of Korean food we have to eat, right? But, you know, during this time, like, if you can have Korean food, what kind of food do you want to have? I personally don't like to eat foods or I just don't like eating. What? But I think <laughs> what? Uh, my most favorite Korean food is bibimbap. Bibimbap. Yes. Oh. Bibimbap. Okay. Is it dorso bibimbap, the grilled one, or just cold, let's say, stain, stain the, the bowl? Which one do you prefer? I prefer the bibimbap. Sizzling? <laughs> No, I don't like oh, that. What? You don't like it? Really? No. I like the p i m p a with lots of vegetables and oh. many things. Are you vegetarian? <laughs> I'm not vegetarian, but I, I like vegetables. Oh. Then you're flexitarian? Sometimes prefer bacon or sometimes prefer some veggie? Uh, no, I just hate meat. And you hate oh, meat? Wow. Yes. So technically you're a vegetarian then? Yes. Oh. Vegan. No, Maybe we're going to go to the k o g i buffet one day uh, <laughs> with uh, David, and then he's going to watch us uh, eating how to eat, right? <laughs> okay. okay, I'm just kidding, by the way. All right, Emma, what do you think? What is your most favorite Korean food? Oh, my God, there's so much to talk about, but the most 
favorite Korean food is b u d e j i g e b u d e j i g e Yeah. The kimchi j i g e and like b u d e j i g e are my favorite. But for today, I want to eat b u d e j i g e b u d e j i g e Okay, I search about b u d e j i g e Do you know b u d e j i g e in English? No. Army j i g e Military. Military <laughs> food. Yeah. What? Do you know the history of b u d e j i g e No. Oh, come on. I found it. I Google it. You don't know about the history of the b u d e j i g e I don't know the history. Oh. I gotta tell you, okay? The history of b u d e j i g e is like incredibly interesting because the history of j i g e is during a Korean War, mm. right? Yeah. The armies need to eat, hurry up, and fight for it. But also they should eat lots of food at one time. At the time, the U.S. Army has brought some ham, and Korean Army is mixed it up with ham, kimchi, and other things for b u d e j i g e That's why the b u d e j i g e includes lots of stuff. These days, the ramen either. Also, the meaning of b u d e j i g e is army for b u d e and j i g e for the soup. Mm. So, you know, what Emma mentioned that uh, during Korean War, you know, definitely is kind of suffering, you know, Hungry, mm. which is a fam- famine, you know, a lot of people struggle with the food. So, but U.S. troops, you know, from the states, um, they, you know, ha- got a lot of support from the government, right? U.S. government. So, like canned food, even the hand wash you mentioned. So, they actually uh, leftover, f- there are some leftover food, so throw away. But for that kind of food, for even Korean people, it's a, a lot of what? They definitely need it. That's the desperate. Mm. So, it's sort of the homeless people, the food. So, like, people, they throw away, but they collect that and put it on the where? Hot water, boiled water. And they make it stir. Do you know what stir means? It's a j i g e j i g e and they put it, you know, some veggie. Now it has become, a, you know, sort of a kind of snack today. But history is pretty sad because our father's generation, grandfather's generation, they're really uh, desperate to eat, you know, survive, and, you know, for the food. So, This is kind of history of what, you know, Korean people went through uh, during the Korean War, even the, uh, some depression in our time. So that's why the, uh, we should appreciate um, our country, especially the forefathers and our uh, parents and grandparents who died, who sacrificed their lives for us, right? Yeah. So I think, you know, each, any, any food we have, so we have to be, you know, really appreciated and uh, we eat you know, more and say thank you, 감사합니다. And all the times, right? That's yes. the pro- probably that's the expression how we could uh, say thank you to our parents and mm-hmm. grandparents. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for this time. Maybe one day we're gonna have a bude chige, oh. maybe together. Yes. My favorite Korean food. Maybe before we end up, I would like to briefly mention about. I love. It is called so galbi. Oh. Yeah, so, so galbi jim, galbi oh, jim, yeah, jim store. Oh. Something bake, but jim jim is like. Something, uh, let's say, some seasoning. Do you know seasoning means? Yangnyeom. Yangnyeom is a seasoning oh, and hot oh bowl and, and hanu, which is Korean beef. Ah, mm. oh, that's my favorite Korean food. So, and also another the Korean food I really like, j e o n g o l Do you know j e o n g o l Korean j e o n g o l s o g o g i j e o n g o l It's like, looks like the, um, the grill, but it looks like the, uh, some yellow grill. And then th- there are some holes. Which is the <gasps> yeah, fire yeah, yeah. air, and oh then put some, some veggie, and the noodles, and oh, some some oh beef, God. and you know the grill. This one that smell killing me, and <laughs> I just you know dip the uh, what's called the, the soup with a spoon, and oh, 국물도 진짜 맛있고 고기도 정말 맛있고 I'm hungry right now. Mm. So the 소고기 찜 and 전골. Sogi j o n g o l that's my favorite Korean oh. food. Interesting is this one. My friends, the foreigners, actually, uh, American friends and a lot of you know, Asian friends, uh, Ch- Japanese, Taiwanese, I, sometimes I took them to the Korean restaurant. Never mm-hmm. ever heard about Korean food is really bad. Oh. They all the time said, so delicious, especially about Korean barbecue. Yeah. Mm. Do you know also really Japchae is really famous among the people, a lot of people, foreigners? Oh, Japchae. Japchae, no. Japchae is really famous too. Because it's not that spicy, mm-hmm. yeah, not that even mild. It's pretty, it tastes pretty good. One of the favorite food is sundubu. Sunde, sundubu jjigae. Sundubu jjigae. I'm crying. No. Sundubu jjigae is wow. so popular among a lot of Korean, the way, foreigners. Yeah. So sundubu with Korean barbecue is awesome. Another good combination. So um, 
I'm hungry right now. Oh, by the way, I'm crying. So maybe next episode we're gonna have a mukbang. Maybe. <gasps> uh, what do you think, mukbang? Yes. Mm, maybe, maybe we're gonna have a meat <laughs> oh, with you. I don't know why, but when I think of meat, oh. then I feel like my body is changing to oils, and I just don't feel good in my stomach. <laughs> okay, maybe uh, we're gonna discuss about food, Korean food, maybe next time, or some snack, 간식, maybe 떡볶이, 떡볶이. Mm. sundae, right? Maybe you don't like sundae? I don't like sundae. I, I mm. like. Uh, What do you like then? In, when we go to the tteokbokki chip, then they sometimes give us river. Re oh, yeah, river, yeah, yeah. I like that. Uh -huh. Oh. Like the pig ones? Yes. Okay. Bunshik chip is they do have a good ramen. I really like it actually. All right, so let's wrap up uh, this time. And uh, we discuss about Korean culture part two, Gaecheonjol Hangulat, and then favorite Korean food. What a great information and also our thoughts we exchanged. Thank you so much for your time. So we're going to get back to many people uh, who are looking for, who are waiting for this time. So with, with the, another topic for sure. So thanks so much for your time today. All right. So see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.